Behold, the very heavy cube. What's up YouTube, it's your boy back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how Bitcoin tipping works over on Twitter. First, we're gonna go through how to turn on tipping on your Twitter account. Then I'll show you a live demo of how to tip using Bitcoin in the Lightning Network. And then finally, we're gonna be talking about Strike and how all of this is even possible. Go down below and smash the like button for revolutionary payment systems and let's level up your brain. <laughs> All right, guys, so to enable this for yourself, you're just gonna open up your Twitter app and you're gonna go to profile. And then up in the top right-hand corner, you're gonna hit edit profile. And so down at the bottom here on the screen, you should see a thing for tips. And you'll see that right now mine is turned on. My understanding is that as of the recording of this video, at least, this Twitter tips feature has been enabled for all users of Twitter, but it is only enabled on iOS app versions of Twitter. And you can actually see that if I go to Safari and I hit edit profile, there is no tips feature here for me to interact with. And so so it does actually have to be the app version of Twitter on right now iPhone and iPad. All right, so over in the iOS app again, we're gonna go and just click on tips and it's going to give us a little rundown here of what tips is on Twitter. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn on tips and then we're going to add our different accounts that we want to accept our tips in. And then we're basically just gonna start collecting money from anyone that does wanna tip us over Twitter. So if you agree, you'll just go down at the bottom and hit agree. And then you'll be brought to this screen where you can enable and disable tips just right here with the allow tips button. And then you'll notice the first category right off the bat here is Bitcoin Lightning Wallet. And so here you can click on strike. It'll give you a little blurb here about what is the Lightning Network and how to set up a wallet. And then you can just add your strike account username right here within the app. And you can actually find what your strike username is if you just head over to your strike account and then you go to the bottom right hand corner, you hit this little person tab and it's gonna be just this little, you know, for me it's strike.me slash ret. And so you're just gonna put whatever your strike username is right here in Twitter. And then if we scroll down, you can see that there are some other payment options, most notably uh, the Bitcoin Bitcoin address. You can just put the public key to whatever Bitcoin on-chain wallet that you want to use here. So this could be a hardware wallet, this could be a multi-sig wallet, or this could be just like a BlockFi hot wallet or something. And then obviously you can connect your Cash App or your Venmo account or some sort of other non-Bitcoin related thing that they allow you to connect here, right? Bandcamp, GoFundMe, Patreon. All of those are kind of boring though. So let's look at the strike option and let's see how the Lightning Network works through Twitter. So to tip someone through Twitter here, again, I think you're only going to see this on iOS devices as of the recording of this video, but there's this little money icon next to edit profile up here. And when you click that, it's gonna tell you welcome to tips and it's gonna tell you how to send your tips basically. So you're gonna hit got it. And then when you hit that money icon again, it's gonna bring up, all right, how many dollars or how many Satoshis or how much Bitcoin do you want to send to whoever the person is that you're trying to tip? So let's go over to strike and just confirm that right now I have zero dollars in my strike account. And so now if we go back and we choose to send one dollar and we send, and uh, YouTube demo. And now if we hit open wallet, ooh, you can't tip yourself. Okay, so I didn't foresee this coming. I thought that I would actually be able to tip myself. So now instead, let's go ahead and tip Jack Mallers, the founder of Strike. So if we just go up to his little money sign up here, we'll send him a dollar and we'll send it for changing the world. And so now if I hit open wallet, I'm gonna hit continue. It's gonna prompt me to open one of the lightning wallets that's already installed in my phone. So I'm gonna hit open. It's going to open my blue wallet. I'm just gonna pay this invoice. And there it is. I just sent $1 over the Lightning Network to Jack Mallers, the founder of Strike, over Twitter. And if I go back over to Twitter, it's gonna show me that I sent that $1 over to Jack. And I'll get a little Lightning notification within Twitter that confirms basically everything that we just did. And so something you'll notice about this tipping page right here is that it's showing you the US dollar amount that you can tip. And that's because the amount that gets sent to the person receiving the tip is received in their strike account as US dollars. So I just sent Jack $1 through my Bitcoin Lightning wallet. I sent him Bitcoin but he received it as US dollars. So Jack didn't need to touch Bitcoin. It's not like you're actually sending the people that you're sending this money to Bitcoin, you're actually sending them US dollars. And if you go down here to custom, you can choose to send any amount of Satoshis, which is the smallest unit of a Bitcoin, or you can choose to send them any amount of dollars. And just as a proof of concept here, I tried to send less than five cents and this next button was just permanently grayed out. So I'm gonna actually have to send more than five cents. That's the least amount that you can send. 
or right now about 81 Satoshis. And so let's go ahead and try that next. So I'll hit next here, YouTube demo. I'll hit open wallet and I'll just pay this five cent invoice over to Jack. It's sent back over to Twitter. You sent five cents. Jack just got that five cents in his strike account as finally settled US dollars because we sent it over the Lightning Network using Bitcoin, which is like the fastest settlement layer that exists basically, right? And then if we refresh our notifications, we'll see that we sent another five cents for the YouTube demo. So now that you guys have seen the tipping in action, let's talk about strike and how all of this is even possible. Basically what's happening is anyone in the world that has a Bitcoin Lightning wallet, which are 100% free to download and can be run on pretty much any device. You could run it on a desktop computer. You could run it on your iPhone. You could run it on an Android phone. You could run it out on a little Raspberry Pi computer. These are very lightweight. Anyone can download them apps. Anyone that has a Lightning wallet and that has some Bitcoin in their Lightning wallet, no matter where they are in the world, can tip people over Twitter and the people receiving the tip get it in their strike accounts as US dollars. And this is the part of the video where a bunch of people in the comments are gonna go, yo, yeah, well, Rhett, strike isn't available in Europe yet, and strike isn't available in New York, and strike isn't available in Hawaii, and strike isn't available in Australia, and when is strike gonna come to the United Kingdom? Guys, big picture here, all right? Strike doesn't actually need to go to any of those places because what could happen instead is someone in New York with a license to operate in New York or someone with a license to operate in the United Kingdom or someone with a license to operate in Europe or someone with a license to operate in Japan or Australia can build their own app there. That app can integrate to Twitter and then anyone with any of the apps can send money from one app to any of the other apps. Right now, if you have PayPal, you can't send money to Cash App. If you have Venmo, you can't send money to Revolut or whatever they use over in Europe. You can't send money to whatever they use over in Japan. You can't send money to whatever they use down in Australia. There are entire networks that exist all within these single jurisdictions and Bitcoin is the first network to exist in all of the jurisdictions at the same time because it's purely software. So all those people down in the comments right now are 100% right. They can't receive Lightning Network invoices through Twitter unless they copy and paste their Lightning Network invoice QR codes in the comments of Twitter. It's not native in the UI though. But you could actually do that. You could just send a picture and someone could fulfill your Lightning invoice. But ultimately the big picture of how this is going to work is if I have a friend that's over in Japan or if I have a family member that's in Mexico or El Salvador that needs a remittance payment from me and I'm working in a different country, I can take my US dollars and use an app like Strike whether that is actually Strike because it's available in my jurisdiction or it's some other app that eventually is built to compete with Strike, I can use whatever that app is to send my native US fiat currency over to my family member in Mexico that needs a remittance payment and they will receive it as Mexican pesos. Or my friend in Japan gets it as Japanese yen or whatever the currency is, as long as it has a trading pair with Bitcoin, which pretty much every currency in the world does have a trading pair with Bitcoin and it is exchangeable for Bitcoin, the Bitcoin network in the background can convert any one currency to any other currency and that person will receive it as that second currency. So everyone is dealing with all of their native currencies. No one has to touch Bitcoin. And this is the big distinction between Bitcoin the asset and Bitcoin the network. A lot of people like to speculate and talk about, oh, Bitcoin the asset is now worth $61,000 or oh, by the end of the year, it will be $100,000. All those things are great. I hope that Bitcoin is $100,000 at the end of the year, not financial advice. But what's even bigger is that Bitcoin, the network makes it possible for any two people in the world to transact back and forth between their own fiat currencies instantly and for a very, very low fee. See what happens if you call Chase and ask them if you can send your parents five cents. They're going to say no because there are operating costs to running banks and that is a money amount Amount that is too small for them to send through their system. Or tell them that you want to stream your brother 10 cents a minute while you're watching Netflix. Chase can't do these things. The legacy banking system can't do these things. Eventually, Bitcoin will be able to do all of those things and it's just by integrating software companies like Strike with other existing software companies and leveraging Strike's connection to the Bitcoin network. All Twitter had to do to make it possible to send money from anyone in the world on Twitter to anyone else in the world on Twitter was integrate with one company. As you can probably tell, I'm super hyped about Strike and what they're gonna be able to eventually do in the future. And you guys might see some of this as hyperbole because Strike isn't actually able to operate in all of those different jurisdictions yet, but it's a matter of time before they or some native competitor in any of those jurisdictions does pop up. and then. 
is able to do exactly what Strike did by integrating with Twitter. If you guys want to learn more about Strike, I have a bunch of Strike videos on the channel and I'll put them into a playlist and link them up in the cards right here for you. So definitely check those out if you are looking to learn more about Strike and how they operate as a business. If you guys learned something, go down below and smash the like button so that YouTube shares this video with other people who are trying to figure out how Bitcoin tipping works on Twitter and how Strike has been involved in this entire process. Comment down below if you guys love Strike or if you think I'm overhyping it or if you're upset that they're not available in your jurisdiction. That's like one of the most common comments that I get when I upload these videos to YouTube. It would be really great if we could flip a switch tomorrow it was available everywhere. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. If it does take too long, maybe you could just build a Strike app for yourself. And again, they definitely have a ways to go, but in my opinion, they're the most exciting company in the world right now. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. I love you all. Goodbye.